Hey guys, today I'm about to get some red beans and rice started and um, I just got home from one of my niece's birthday parties. It's her sweet 16 and it was good. We had a lot of fun. Um, she was excited about everybody being there, but that's why I'm a little dressed up. And I don't know if we're going to be going to get the sofa today or not. So what I'm going to do is just put an apron on and put my hair up because I don't want to change clothes if we are going down there. <laughs> but I do kind of want to put on comfy clothes, but I don't, I don't know. For now, I'm going to keep this on until I know what Jeff is doing. So, um, you know, what time he's getting off and all that stuff. So I can call him whenever he gets off work and find out. But I do need to get this red beans and rice going and Noah can stay here and tend the crock pot while that I am gone if we go get the sofa. So this is my recipe that I have on my blog and um, I am doing it a tiny bit different though because I decided because I have a lot of dried beans that I was going to just use a pound of dried beans and just cook those up in the instant pot instead of using canned beans because I have used canned beans before and so I'm going to give you the recipe but the way I'm doing it is a little bit different and I'll tell you where that comes in. So one onion chopped, one bell pepper chopped. I'm supposed to have one stalk of celery chopped but I don't think I have any so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll have to see. One jalapeno minced which I have some of those in the freezer two tablespoons of jarred minced garlic or three to four fresh cloves. Now, at the time when I made this recipe, when I created it, I used to use the jarred minced garlic. I don't anymore, so that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna use the jarred minced garlic, so I'm gonna use three or four cloves of the fresh. Okay, two tablespoons of oil, of your choice I use olive oil or avocado oil or coconut or lard <laughs> and bacon grease I use bacon grease too 12 to 16 ounces of sausage cut into rounds preferably link sausage is what I choose uh, one cup of cooked ham cut into cubes I hope I have some of that if I don't I have time to run to the store and grab some and I still have time to run to the store and get some celery too because I'm cooking the beans right now three no four cans of beans i use three cans of kidney and one of black drained and rinsed but instead of that i don't know what's going on instead of using those canned beans i'm just going to cook my own and i'll drain those i'm not going to rinse them one tablespoon of dried parsley more fresh one tablespoon one teaspoon of oregano more fresh one to two teaspoons or no one to two tablespoons of cajun seasoning of your choice i usually use one two to four tablespoons of hot sauce of your choice i usually use two and two cups of broth of your choice but i use the um paste or whatever like the better than bouillon and water for that so i'm going to just go ahead and get the red beans started but i'm going to put my hair up first like i said um the kidney beans started and then I'll come back and do that part later but right now let's get these beans in the instant pot love an instant pot I can do everything in there okay so got my hair back and got my apron on and I'm gonna wash my hands again because I touch my clothes my clothes are not dirty but then again you know anyway I soaked these kidney beans the red kidney beans overnight I'm gonna have to get something out of here that I used last night. Let me have it. Okay. I washed it. That's are clean. But anyway, I um soaked the beans overnight and I had picked through them and everything. I'm gonna pour them into that and I'm gonna rinse them really well. This is one pound of red kidney beans oh my goodness my refrigerator froze it that's ice let me see if it'll focus it's not focusing
Okay. That's from the refrigerator. I had it in the top. Wow. Okay. I got those rinsed. And I'm going to put them in here. And I'm just going to put water in here because I, um, I just want to cook these. All the flavor is going to come from the other uh, things that I'm going to be doing. So I want to just put as much water. What am I doing? Let's see if this will reach. Okay. Scoot you over. Work harder. No, work smarter, not harder. Isn't that the way it works? I mean, that's one reason I wanted this. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to just put till it's about doubled over the thing, over the beans. I don't want it like just over the beans. I want it about double over the beans. So there's plenty of water. So I guess that's 12. Is that 12 cups? No. It's about four liters. So that's, I guess that's 12 cups. And I'm just going to put the lid on and I'm going to put it on bean chili. No. I think that, let's put it on pressure cook. I feel like um, kiwi beans need longer. So I'm going to let it go for 40 minutes. Now, that might be too much. I hope it's not. But kidney beans, if you do not cook them the proper amount of time, they can't, they do have a chemical in them. Wow, that got crazy violite. They do have a chemical in them that can harm you. It can make you sick. I don't know about any other beans, but I know kidney beans will do that. So I never want to take a chance with anything that I'm cooking. So I'm just going to make sure these are thoroughly cooked. I don't want to make my family sick. So while this is doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and chop up all the things I can, wash all the things I can. Like I can go ahead, I can't chop up the sausage because I forgot to take it out. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to wait a little bit and then I'll chop it up because I don't want to just sitting on the counter. So I'll wait until this is just about done. Then I'll start chopping it. But I might go ahead and chop it with y'all. And I'm gonna check this freezer, these two freezers to see if I have any celery in there. I do sometimes freeze celery. Um, so if I have some, that'll work. I do have some ham that I can use. So I'll just pull that out. It won't be the chunks of ham unless I actually have some ham in the freezer. The big white one over there. I might have some in that. I will check um, because I used to keep that kind of stuff. But like I said before, and y'all are probably going to get tired of me saying it. I promise I won't be saying it forever. But before we moved, we ate down a lot of our stock and I don't have as much as what I did have. But if something happens and I need to run to the Dollar General, I can do that real quick. Grab some celery and ham. It'll be no big deal, which the ham, I actually already have some, and I could just leave the celery out. Nobody'd ever know. So that might be what I do. We'll see. Either way, it's gonna be delicious because it's homemade. So I'll be back. I totally forgot that we had celery in the refrigerator. Fantastic. Okay, so now that is not a problem. I totally forgot I had bought it because it had been so long since I bought any. Um, so we have some in there so I can use that. I don't have to worry about anything. I have all the ingredients. The ham is not going to be the same as what I used before, but it's still going to be the same because it's going to be delicious. It's going to be ham. It'll be fine. It's not like deli ham. That's not what I'm talking about, but you could eat it on a sandwich. Okay, so normally I would go ahead and just do this in my Instant Pot because I'm going to be using the Instant Pots. Um, slow cooker feature, but since I'm using it for the beans, I'm just going to go ahead and use my skillet. This is not something that you have to use an instant pot for because um, you can just use a skillet and a regular slow cooker, but instant pots do make it easier because it's one pot thing, but if you're cooking beans, 
and you want to go ahead and get a head start on other things, this is the best way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I've got some oil in here. I'm going to cut up this sausage into rounds, if I can open it. And I'm going to go ahead and get it cooked up in here. Now, I'm not worried about getting this, um, like, how am I going to explain it? I'm not worried about getting it fully cooked because it's going to be cooked in the slow cooker. And I don't know if this is, yeah, this is fully cooked anyway. So, like, what I'm saying is, normally if I'm eating sausage, like link sausage, for breakfast or something, I want it browned. Well, I'm not worried about browning this, is my point. But this is fully cooked, and I don't mind putting it on this cutting board because it's fully cooked. But I'm just going to cut it into rounds. That's not the best example because of the fact that maybe like this size. Well, can you focus? About like that. What is that, Noah? Maybe a quarter of an inch? Mm -hmm. look. About like that? It's a quarter of an inch, maybe? Maybe. We'll just say a quarter of an inch or so. But I'm going to go ahead and get it in the pan and get it going. It does supposed to be on. Turn on a little higher. And um, then I'm going to take it out and put my vegetables in. So while this is cooking up, I'm going to be cutting up my vegetables. I have a bell pepper, the garlic, the onion, the uh, jalapeno pepper, and celery over here. I think that's all I'm supposed to have. I'll have to look at the recipe again. But I think that's it. Because I don't have fresh, veg uh, fresh herbs. I'm using dried herbs. And Noah is doing the dishes for us. So y'all are going to be hearing that in the background. So I'm not, nobody's tearing up anything. Just so you know. He's just in me in the dishwasher. Because I've been gone all day and I haven't done my chores. But it is Saturday, so I do things a little bit different on Saturdays and Sundays. It's just weekdays that I am usually getting things started pretty early. And I've also, while I was waiting on the beans, I've also edited a video so that I could kill a little bit of time and get a little work done too. Because I need to get, you know, videos out too. So, let that cook. I may have to turn it up some more. And then I'm going to cut the celery up into pretty small pieces. It's not going to be huge pieces. Maybe, I don't know, that's maybe, it's not a, it's about an eighth of an inch maybe. I'm not good with that stuff, so y'all can decide <laughs> how big that is. But, I, um, it says, my recipe says a, one stalk of celery. And I've got three parts of stalks here, and I'm just going to use that because some of that celery was not the best, so I just got what I wanted. And there's still some of it in the refrigerator, but I just got this. Celery is really good for you, too, so. And one of the main reasons I'm cooking this is because my sister-in-law's been wanting red beans and rice. Noah and Jeff love red beans and rice, but I don't really, I don't eat it. Um, I will eat it, but I don't prefer it. So if I can cook it when someone else is coming over and Jeff and Noah can uh, enjoy it and not get tired of it because we have so many leftovers, that's a really good time to cook it. At least in my opinion. What about you, Noah? What do you think? Man, that means less for me. <laughs> I can cook it for you again if you want me to. I almost always have the ingredients. Eventually, eventually he'll want it again. Jeff and I have started on our November um, menu plan, but we don't have it finished yet. Today is only the second of the month, so it's not like we don't, you know, this cloth is cleaning. I'm going to put these things on it so that I can put all these vegetables back into here 
after I get all chopped up. And the jalapenos were slightly frozen, or they were frozen, and they're still slightly frozen, so they have a little bit of ice on them. Another reason why I wanted to go ahead and cook this is because this bell pepper is getting a little bit soft. It's a little bit past its prime, but it's good for cooking in a soup or stew. You wouldn't want to throw it away. It's not bad at all. It's not, I mean, you could eat it in a salad now still, but it's getting to that point where it's not as crispy and crunchy. So you might want to use it for something else. But I'm going to be doing the red beans and rice. No, what else do you want with the red beans and rice? Uh, do you want me to do the cornbread? Is that a fly? Did you just let a fly in the house? No, there's one out in the fridge. Well, make sure you get it out of here, please, if you can. I don't know where it went. I don't either. I just shoot it back that way toward you. Do you want me to do cornbread or do you want to do crackers or? Yeah. Where's it at? Get, get away from my food. Cornbread, okay. Got plenty of buttermilk to do cornbread. Did you see where it went? No. It went, I shoot it back that way. What are you doing? I was going to turn on that, but then I remembered it makes noise. Why did you want to turn it on? I don't know. Okay. I don't know how much it noise it would make on my video. But I don't want huh? A lot. A lot. I don't see the fire anymore It probably shoot over that way somewhere. All right, so I've got the celery, the bell pepper. Now I'm doing the jalapeno, and I'm not, I didn't put on gloves. I probably should have put on gloves, but I didn't. So, hopefully I won't regret this. But as soon as I'm done cutting this, even before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands because I need to stir the sausage anyway. Now, would you say my red beans with rice is spicy or mild? Mm. Depends on the tongue. Depends on the tongue for you. Uh, it has been kind of spicy sometimes. Whenever I put it to hot sauce. Okay. But you always request it, so I don't think it's bad. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, I scrubbed under my nails, too, to make sure that that pepper was under them. We'll stir this around a little bit. Like I said, I'm not trying to get this fully cooked. I'm just trying to get it um, browned a little to get some of that good caramelized browning flavor on it. Because if I was really trying to, well, it is fully cooked. But what I'm saying is, cooked the way I would want it for eating breakfast, the way I would prefer it. Some people don't want it browned, but I do whenever I eat it for breakfast. Um, but anyway, you know, some people just heat it through and they're good. I, I want it to be a little brown. And I want a little bit of that browning on this. Not only for the fact that it gives it a good flavor, but it also renders some of that fat out that will help cook these vegetables. And the vegetables will soak up some of that yumminess too. So, get the garlic going. There was one of these that had a little spot on it. I don't really know what the spot is. I don't know if it's a bruise or what. But 
I'm getting rid of it. And a couple of these are a little bit small, and Noah said the more garlic the better. He likes garlic a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, six cloves. The beans have about nine more minutes left, and um, then I'm gonna let them slow release for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. And um, go from there. And I'm not trying to get this like minced because if I like super minced because if I was I'd just get my little um garlic crusher out I'm not trying to crush it I'm just trying to mince it that's what I mean to say I want to just cut it up some onion I have on there one onion chopped and I don't have a size with us we love onion so I probably used a large onion so that's what I got here uh, it's a pretty big one it's not as big as some I've used but it's big enough And I can't always get another onion out because we had like nine pounds of onions. We have a lot of onions. And I will be putting these in this pan after I get the sausage up. For some reason I want to say bacon and I know that's not bacon. But after I get the sausage up, I'll put, in, put the vegetables in the pan to cook them up a little bit just to get a little bit of that flavor out, to give them a little head start in cooking. And I'm gonna get my small slow cooker out for the rice. Okay, I'm gonna make sure all my vegetables are cut up. So let's see, onion, bell pepper, celery, jalapeno, garlic, and then I've got that. That's all that I need to cut up, so I'm gonna put this over here so I can get it cleaned up, and I will be right back. Okay, so that's got about three more minutes on it, and um, I wanted to let y'all know, we've decided that tomorrow is the day we're gonna go get the um, our sofa, and that way we can, you know, Jeff had to work today and by the time he gets home it'll be like four o'clock and then by the time that we got back from down there it'd be close to six and we're having company over or you know if they went Jeff and Noah by themselves so I would rather we just wait and he would rather wait anyway because he's kind of tired from working he don't want to he, he doesn't want to drive anymore he doesn't want to ride anymore so completely understandable and they told us we could wait until tomorrow and it's not a big deal so it also gives us a little bit more time to figure things out in this room so I'm probably going to change clothes but I wanted to go ahead and tell y'all that and now I'm gonna go ahead and get this sausage up it is not browned completely but I didn't want it brown completely and is that lipstick weirdness I don't know ah y'all be still Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and take it up. It's, it's not brown completely, but it's got some brownness to it. And I put the cloth that I had under those vegetables on top of them 
The reason why I had the cloth under the vegetables was because they were still wet from me washing them and that way they could drain onto the cloth. But the reason why I put the cloth on top of the vegetables is so no monsters will get onto my vegetables while I'm doing the other things. They're a fly is not likely to land into your pan you're cooking in so i'm not really worried about that but i didn't want it in the otherwise all right i'm gonna go ahead and get this in and y'all insects are just a part of life especially living in the country or you know anywhere actually they were terrible they were more terrible where we used to live but I know y'all see stuff on my videos, and I know that y'all have seen stuff on other people's videos. So, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm not afraid to talk about it. So, <laughs> I'm going to cook this down to the point where it's soft. And, um, yes, I'm cooking it all at once. I don't, I don't care if it's all cooked at once. It's going to be in the same pot. It smells delicious, too. So, anyway, I'm going to cook this down to where it's soft. And then I'm going to put it in there with that. Then I'm going to wash this pan so I can make some cornbread in it. But I'm not going to make the cornbread for a while. So that's, you know, just what I'm just saying. I'm washing the pan afterwards. But anyway, I'm going to get this cooked down. And hopefully in a couple minutes, well, there we go. In about 10 minutes or so, I'm going to let, I'm going to let it do some natural release for a little bit. And then I'll, let me get y'all back up here. And then, sorry, didn't mean to sling y'all around like a slingshot. Then I'll, after it naturally releases some, I will let it release the rest of the way and I will check it. I'm very tempted to go ahead and release it so I can check it because if they're not done, I am gonna need to turn them on again because you do not want kidney beans to not be fully cooked. It can make you very sick. Um, I cannot remember what it's called. If I remember to put it, to find the link or any links that I have found before, if I remember, I'll put it in the description box. You can look it up yourself. Kidney bean toxicity. Now, if you cook it properly, if you cook them th thoroughly, you don't have that problem. But if you don't cook them through, it could hurt you and I don't want y'all to be hurt and I don't want my family to be hurt. So I'm telling you and I'm cooking it for them <laughs> because you know, you just don't want that problem. And whenever they're canned from the store, they're cooked so long in the canning process, not a problem, never a problem. So I just want y'all to know, cause some people don't know. And um, one way to cut back on that is to soak them. So I'm hoping me soaking them helped but let me get this uh sauteed whatever translucent i'm gonna go ahead and get some more of my other ingredients out and i'm, I'm just gonna give that a few minutes and then i'll go ahead and release it because i'm in a hurry and also i wore makeup today you know what that means i've got to start wearing makeup now because i opened the new stuff what's that red maybe it's the camera okay they are definitely done next time i will not cook them that long because they are almost <laughs> done maybe since i soaked them i shouldn't have cooked them as long but they're fine for red beans and rice they're fine i did leave some of the cooking liquid in there because i'm gonna have to add chicken broth right well instead of adding chicken broth i use the bouillon the better than bouillon or i'll show you i should have already gotten it out but i didn't I use this Tony's chicken base. So, since I'm using that instead of broth, I just left some of that in there, that liquid. So, let me get some measuring utensils so I can do this properly since I don't seem to know how. Jeffrey's home. Hello. All right, I'm gonna put in, it's supposed to be per cup a tablespoon. Well, that's not going to do. Alright, there's one. And I'll get that one out by the hot liquid. There, that works. Alright, will you put this back in there since you're in there? Where'd it go? 
in the bottom and or that the meat stuff goes okay so now i gotta get my recipe back over here i need to not knock that off a tablespoon of dried parsley And then I need a teaspoon of dried oregano. More of these herbs if you're using fresh because it takes more. Wait, that can go in the dishwasher. All right, so then I need, I can't see it. I should have put it on my little doodad. One to two teaspoons of the Cajun seasoning. I usually use, did I say teaspoon? Tablespoons. I usually use one, and I don't want this too hot because I don't think um, Jeff's sister would want it too hot. And I'm gonna put hot sauce in it, and I already have the jalapeno, so I'm gonna stick with the one tablespoon. But Jeff and Noah love it to have hot stuff too, so sometimes I do the two. I put this over the top so it won't mess it up, but I'll put it back on it in a moment. So let's see. Parsley, oregano, Cajun seasoning, the broth's already in there, and hot sauce. I did not need the teaspoon. Did I use the teaspoon? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Don't put it in the dish strainer. All right. Two teaspoons, two to four teaspoons of your choice of hot sauce. Tablespoons. Is it tablespoons? Yes. So we're gonna use two. And if anybody else wants some more, we always have some. And this Instant Pot did something it has never done before. It overflowed back there. That thing right there got full. Never done that before. I didn't know what to think, didn't know what was happening. All right, so I did go ahead and I put all of the ham and the, the um, sausage and everything back in this pan and I'm gonna just dump it into there. Well, actually, let me just spoon some in there first. This is not the right way because my I'm not left-handed. I'm gonna make it harder on myself if I do that. But I'm gonna put all of this yumminess in there and I'm going to cook it on high with a slow cooker setting for two to three hours is what I have on there. Because everything is cooked, you just want everything to get happy together and get that broth stuff, if you don't use chicken broth, happy together in that. Oh man. I can dump it now. Sorry about the noise, I use iron skillets. <laughs> no, it smelled, it said it smelled good a while ago when I just had the vegetables cooking. And that's all I had cooking. Well, I'd already done the sausage, so there was that. I didn't dump any of it, and I just did it that way. All right, there's that. I'm get this off of here because we're not eating that. All right, I'm gonna stir it together and let it cook together. And I'm gonna do my best to remember tonight to show you what it looks like after it's done. But I have done videos before where I cook this or a video anyway. So slow cook, if you have an instant pot and you push the slow cook button three times, it goes on high. I learned that from one of my dear friends here on YouTube. So it's ready to slow cook. We ain't doing our eight hours, what's your job, Mom? All right, 
just gonna let that go and hopefully it will be good because like I said I've never used beans that I cooked from scratch before and I did very closely almost overcooked those that's what it looks like so far I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna go change clothes and talk with Jeff some and I'll be back later okay so I have the cornbread in the oven and got the other small y'all can't see it it's on the counter over there oh goodness I'm knocking honey down I'm not gonna hunt it down honey anyway um the other small instant pot is out for me to do the rice in got everything set up for a decent good meal got the dishwasher going because it was kind of full not all the way full but full enough that I want to get it done and put those away before anybody gets here so shouldn't be much longer and I can do that so uh yeah just wanted to update y'all and today is just cooking that's all I'm gonna I'm gonna have for y'all that's why I'm gonna try my best to show you the end result <laughs> I'm gonna try and no I didn't do the cornbread with you but I will put my fried cornbread recipe down in the um, description box all you have to do if you want it baked is instead of frying it up you just put you some butter in an iron skillet put it in the oven put the batter into there on 350 well of course you want your oven preheated to 350 well, let me say that i need to say that anyway preheat your oven to 350 put your batter in well let me <laughs> let me start over this is the last time i'm going to do it i'm going to do it right you mix up your batter you and while you're doing that you preheat your oven once your oven gets to a certain temperature like i don't know say 200 you put you some butter in the in iron skillet put it in the oven let that butter melt let it get up to 350 take it out put your batter in let it get back up to 350 stick that iron skillet in there cook it until it's done yeah i don't know how long it's according to how long you need it to be cooked some people like theirs browner than others so there we go but I will put both of these recipes down below. And rice, all I'm gonna do is, it's one part rice, two parts liquid. I'm gonna do water with a little salt and pepper. And there we go. I might throw a little bit of that chicken paste stuff in there, like the better than bouillon stuff, the Tony's brand. I might put a little bit of that in there because that'll make it have an extra yummy flavor. So I'll be back. Okay. As always, any time that I make something when company's coming over, it falls apart when it comes to cornbread anyways. So it fell apart, but that's okay. It still tastes good. Um, so there's the cornbread. And here's the rice. I need to fluff it, but I'm not doing it right now. And then here's the red beans and all that. Jeff has tried it, and he said it was good. It looks very green on camera, but it does not look that way in person. But... Jeff said it was good, so let me flip the camera around. So, um, I knew that this recipe is one that Jeff likes and Noah likes, so that is all I have for today. I will link those two recipes down below. Like I said, for this, it's my fried cornbread recipe, um, which I use the same one for every kind of cornbread. The dishwasher's doing its thing, so it's making noises with the sink. But... It's the one I use for everything, so there's that. And I did tell you how to do it. But that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Cook with me, because that's all I was doing was cooking. And if you don't mind, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. I guess I'm going in the dark room. I was gonna try to put this in here so it wouldn't be in the way. Um, let me know how you're doing, because I really do wanna know. If you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below as well. If it's gonna get bright. <laughs> and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet <laughs>